what's up everybody? I'm Caroline and welcome to our course on drawing in iOS. This course will teach you how to add custom drawing on views using the most suitable drawing framework, whether it's core graphics or core animation. When you've written an app, you want it to stand out from the crowd. Even if it's just a simple app, you can style it with your own unique touch. Using core animation layers, you can build up controls that look and act exactly the way you or your designer wants. Design is more than just colors though. It's shapes, animation, and interaction too. And core animation layers gives you all of these. If you know the basics of Swift UI and you want to take your skills up a notch, then keep watching. I've been drawing with iOS since about 2009 and I've enjoyed the evolution of design from the old skeuomorphic days through flat design to the clean and bright interfaces we see today. Who knows what design style will come next? But with the drawing skills you'll learn in this course, you'll be able to keep your apps fresh and up to date. Let's take a scenario. Ray has put us in charge of choosing a venue for the office party. Ray can be quite ambitious about venues and there have been several notable incidents in the past. So we're going to need some really specific custom controls for a venue tracking app, which will draw using core animation and core graphics. The first control we'll make is a temperature control where we can note whether the temperature is warm enough to actually have a party in the location. We want to avoid airlifting those hypothermia victims again. That incident was quite expensive, so next up we'll write a budget tracker control using an arc-shaped layer with basic animation. Then there was that time when the organizer temporarily mislaid their phone, leading to a number of inappropriate suggestions. So to prevent that happening again, we'll write a login view and design it with a modern gradient background. The second part of the course will cover core graphics and we'll create the other controls there. All these custom views that we write will be independent, so not only will we be able to use them in Ray's Office Party app, but we'll be able to use them in any future app we write. So the sample app you'll end up with will look like this, and it'll be a portfolio of all the controls we create in the course. If you at a future time create other controls, you'll be able to add them to this portfolio app and keep track of all your creativity. As long as you have a bit of Swift programming under your belt and you understand what a UI view is, you'll be fine with all the code in the course. Before we start, I'd like to thank Katie and Jesse Catterall for their help in preparing the course. Go follow them on Twitter. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started.